So today we are going to be talking about worker purpose system and I believe that there are, are a lot of misconception and skepticism about worker purpose system and um, personally I'm quite skeptical about how it's going to function and if it's too much or all those kind of questions that I'm going to be talking about later. So first of all I'll introduce who we have. Uh, first of all we have Josh from EOS Canada, I'm Kevin from EOS New York and Orchid from EOS is Korea. Hello guys. Hey. Hey. So Hi. For so first of all, could you briefly explain yourself? Let's start from Josh. Sure. So uh, my name is Josh from EOS Canada. I do community and governance for the team. Uh, so taking care of things like referendum, or sorry, I should say keeping up with things like referendum, work proposal system, uh, what's the desire of the community, what do people like, what do people don't like. So that's kind of my role. And creating content, making sure to key it, teach people how to use EOS and what they need to know. Okay, Kevin? Uh, Josh did it pretty well. Hey, everybody. My name is Kevin Rose. I'm co-founder and head of community of EOS New York. My position is rather similar to what Josh said. So it's making sure that our goals as a block producer are in line with the community and making sure that we're building tools that are helpful and let people know about EOS and use it. Okay, lastly, Orchid. Hi everyone, I'm Orchid Kim from EOSIS and EOSIS is uh, one of the Korean block producers and I am handling business development and like Josh and Kevin said, I'm also involved in community and governance. So let's get to the point, let's talk about worker purpose system. So Josh, could you explain briefly what it is and how um, about like, could you give me a like, very brief explanation about it? Sure thing. So the worker proposal system is basically a fund that was set up. It starts as a fund. There's 4% of inflation goes into that fund. Currently, there's about 9.5 million EOS tokens in there. And the, the goal of those tokens is to make sure that the community stays decentralized, that we rely on no single entity or group to advance EOS going forward, that anyone can make a proposal and have the community say, yes, I want that person to get funding so they can build that tool for EOS that we can all use. That's the, the crux of it all. Okay, so what are the core features, Orchid? Could you explain about that? Okay, so first of all, in order to prevent fraud, the working group introduced committee system. So first, there's, there would be emergency committee, and emergency committee members will review proposals that goes through the WPS portal. And also there's, a, uh, that goes along with committee system, there's also category structure. So that defines the type of proposals that could get in the voting and then first uh, it's going to be only emergency category but later other types of categories can be voted in okay thank you so much so Kevin um, what are the benefits that EOS community can get from this like what are the benefits can can this bring about well the interesting thing about uh, a decentralized network is that there's no one person in charge so the well-being of the network is in the hands of every single member of the network. So what the worker proposal fund can do is allow us and empower us to fund projects that no individual would be responsible for. So things like um, spending money on developer training for uh, EOS uh, in general, or um, bootstrapping dispute resolution systems, or managing the GitHub repo is one that is being proposed. So there are many things that no individual is responsible for, but that we all benefit from that this proposal could, this uh, fund could work toward. Let's talk about the skepticism and misconception about um, work proposal system. So there are, are a lot of criticism about it. For instance, um, there are a lot of criticism that 4% is way too much. So for those of people who may not know what, how it works, so there are 5% of inflation and 1% of inflation used for the VPs and 4% is used for worker proposal system. And I genuinely personally also believe that 4% is way too much. So um, Josh, could you explain um, like if it's a disadvantage or if how you can um, solve this problem? Um, I'd agree with you. I think 4% is too much. And I think there's very few people who think 4% is the correct number. Uh, the reason it is set at 4% is before the BP pay was reduced to 1%, it was 5% inflation, and then BPs would bid on what the inflation should be that goes towards BPs. So it's just a holdover from that. Um, right now, a lot of people are talking about maybe 1% or 2% should be where it's at, and then we'll see from there, gather some data, and then try and fix the system or 
um, corrected as needed. Uh, it's also worth noting that the current proposal that's on the table for the worker proposal system, we're talking about burning all except for 1 million tokens and then utilizing that 1 million tokens. Let's limit the amount of fraud possible. Let's make sure we prove ourselves and that we prove that the work proposal system is a valuable thing, a viable asset for the community first. And another criticism that worker proposal gets is that, I mean, it is quite obvious that within EOS ecosystem, there are a lot of whales. And also worker proposal system could be manipulated and controlled by whales. What is your opinion about that, Orchid? Um, I think the current system that the working group is proposing, that has the device that could prevent the abuse of the whales. It's uh, so reviewers, if the reviewers can tell the difference between the scams and those that are not, then I think it should be fine. Um, so you've also mentioned of the review committee and there's going to be a review committee, but wouldn't it bring about the centralization of EOS community? Um, or uh, I think, first of all, I think centralization and decentralization is a kind of relative um, concept. And to prevent the least uh, scam, I mean, to, we have to put the device that, uh, that can act as a uh, safeguard. So, I, I wouldn't say that that's actually a centralization. I'd also, just to jump in really quick there, um, it should be noticed that the, the category um, review committee is not going to be able to pass through a proposal. They would only be able to really stop something from getting through that shouldn't get through. So in terms of centralization, it's more gatekeepers that could get rid of bad things, but that can't push through what they think are good things. So in that sense, uh, some centralization is you know, a benefit to the whole community. Okay, thank you so much for your, your answers. Um, so let's talk about like personal reasons and personal reason why you guys are supporting it or you guys are not um, supporting this. Um, could you explain your personal reason why you support this, Kevin? Uh, well, I, I think that the worker proposal system, like I said before, is a way to enable us to fund projects that no individual is responsible for themselves. What needs to be understood is that EOS is a, uh, a I don't really have a personal reason for or against. I'm trying to understand the reasons for and understand the reasons against for the community. The EOS is a brand and we do not exist in a vacuum. That And the, the brand is valued. The network is valued. The token has a value. And each time that the, the brand or the network suffers um, a controversy or an abuse, that can affect the token price. And that is something that everyone cares about. So what everyone, uh, what, what I think some people are concerned about is from a place of fear that there are those who would try to abuse the worker proposal fund for their own selfish reasons. But I think that we need to focus more on the very um, concrete, very specific proposals that could be uh, very beneficial to the community. But like Josh said before, and like others have said before, I do not believe that it should be funded at 4% or funded at all, actually, until there is a project that is worth funding. So if a project is uh, proposed and approved, then we can fund it. The actual inflation that we can put in there, it can be changed. Um, and all of this has to be done by um, block producer consensus 15 out of 21 vote anyway. So that's my personal thought. So Josh, um, are you for it or against it? And could you sure. tell me your so, personal uh, Personally, I, I'm for it just because I think it's going to be the strongest tool to bring decentralization to the network. Uh, if you look at um, Bitcoin, for example, there is it's, it's just a decentralized network, but there's really a core group of people like at Blockstream who make a lot of the changes. They have somewhat control over what gets pushed into the code and then the miners get to choose, do I trust uh, what this guy pushed or what that guy pushed? And there's some conglomerates and cabals that have, that have formed behind, even though it's a decentralized network. But by adding a, a worker proposal system, we can actually have a true decentralized network because anyone who's um, putting something forward that the community likes, that could be implemented, that could be worked on, and that could be touched upon. So I think that's a great tool. Decentralization, uh, I think, is only aided by the, the WPS. Okay, so Orchid? Okay, my personal reason for uh, why worker proposal system has to be voted in lies in, uh, as Josh, Josh said, decentralization. And also, 
um, I've heard a lot of dev teams that were waiting for the worker proposal system. Uh, dev teams, especially that doesn't have uh, business models. So um, personally, I think dApps that benefit the whole network and the whole community, uh, and then they don't if they don't have any business models, um, then those kind of good projects could be voted in in the worker proposal system. Okay, thank you. That was, that was a great answer. And I know all of you guys are very involved in the development of the worker proposal system, but could you briefly explain what are you guys currently working on to develop this worker proposal system? Josh, could you explain what you guys are doing? Sure. So right now, the biggest thing we're doing is education. We're trying to get out there on interviews like this. So thank you so much for having us because we need to educate the community about why we think it could be valuable. What are the things to think about in terms of how it could be abused? And uh, they need to know how to use it going forward. So we have to make sure to present all that information to them. So helping out with that, i um, also been looking at, a lot of people say, oh, well, if someone makes a proposal and EOS is currently at $4 and then it goes up to $20, are they gonna make five times profit on that? It shouldn't be a profit generating system if I'm gonna be funded. So I put forward a uh, proposal where I helped author a proposal by the committee as a whole to say, here's how we would deal with that. Uh, here are the conversion rates going forward that we would follow. So I think putting a lot of checks and balances in place, that's where I have been trying to help out. And Orchid, what are you guys currently working on? Um. Yeah, like Josh said, we're in the stage of massive PR. So I'm trying to, especially for Korean community, I'm trying to explain what kind of benefits that the system could bring. And then plus, um, uh, there are a lot of misconceptions about worker proposal systems. So I'm really trying to uh, debate some kind of those uh, misconceptions too. Okay, thank you. And Kevin? Well, I'm actually not uh, personally, neither myself nor EOS New York is directly involved with the development of the work proposal system, except that uh, okay. we are watching very, very closely what the, uh, the good work that the, the team has been doing so that we can, uh, we, we are elected members of the community. We represent the community just like other block producers do, like EOS and EOS Canada. And we want to make sure that we're holding all members accountable. And that's what we're trying to do with the work proposal system. Uh, group is to is to make sure that what they're doing is for the best of the net uh, best uh, in the best interest of the network and so far it has been okay thank you so much for your time and i know you guys are super busy but i really appreciate this interview thank you so much thanks for having us thank, thank you, you.